in from a super sunny and bright Dunley. I am very, very excited today. It is our first full day here, so we are just literally leaving our guest house here, which is Chiang Lai Inn. It's actually so sweet, it's really nice. And this is gonna be our bike for the day. Oh, I'm excited for this, you guys. So Taz is actually just on the inside right now. He's just sorting out all of our bits and pieces. Nia. <laughs> and we're gonna rent the bike and then we're gonna basically be able to take ourselves around Dali because it's a little bigger here. It's a bit further like uh, spread out, like the things if you wanna go down to the lake, we're not too far, we can walk, but the lake is huge. I think it's actually about 126 or 130 kilometers if you were to go all the way around, which is wild. So we've got this little trusty bike out here, electric bike, lots of people, lots of tourists rent them. You can see people going past there too. So that's going to be us today. I'm going to wait for Taz just for a minute to sort things out for us. I think we're paying 30 yuan and it has about 80 kilometers, which is top notch. So come with us as we explore Dali today on an electric bike. Thank you. Sure, sure. <laughs> We're staying at this amazing guest house in the ancient city of Dali. Good morning, good afternoon, evening, whenever and wherever you guys might be watching. A bit too early for me still. We were just sorting out the bike. We have it here. So you can't come to Dali and not get a bike and just whiz around everywhere and take the sights in, you know. Another beautiful day. Look at that. No cloud in the sky as such. Yeah, and our guest house owners, they gave us some fruit as well, some water. They're so sweet. So I highly recommend we are staying in this place, Xi'an Lai Inn. <laughs> Such good. a lovely lady. Thank you. She's so sweet. <laughs> We're staying here, guys. This is literally a five minute walk to the main entrance of Dali ancient town. And this is the prime location as well because we are so close to everything. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to get on the bike. I haven't ridden a bike in over a year. I think over a it's year. It's been it's yeah, been over a year now. Crazy. <laughs> Do we know how to work this, by the way? No. Maybe we just need to ask very quickly, how does it work? Because I think it works like normal, like you just have to turn it on, but we're not sure like if the seat opens or I don't know. So we just, we just find out. Here, okay, this, this one here. We know, we know This ah. is the, oh yeah, yeah. Ah, perfect. So can I, can I put this here? In here? Okay. Let's see, let's give Taz a little uh, test. You have your brakes on, flick those up. Yeah, you're good. Okay, now I hope he comes back to get me because otherwise I'm gonna have to walk. <laughs> and I hope not. But let's see. Let's go this way and check it out. It's so easy. There's no gears or anything. This is automatic. Oh, you nice. just switch on the ignition. You can't even hear the engine come on because obviously electric. Happy day. So you're just always thinking, is this thing even working? So yeah, if this comes on, you're good. So you just have the main... Oh, I'm not sure we can see it because the sun's so I bright can, right yeah. now. No, it says it's uh, full battery. Oh, so perfect. we've got full charge on one single charge. You can get 80 kilometers. Okay, this will be fun. I am so excited to go and just explore Dali Town on our own, on a bike. This is so, so cute. <laughs> let's go. Okay, guys, we are ready. Let's do this. <laughs> guys. Pray for us. Here we go. Okay. I'm sure there are rules, but it honestly feels like there aren't any. People just drive wherever they feel like it. This is not bad, you know. 30 yuan to rent a bike for the whole day. We have to bring it back before 9.30? No, they said 10.30. 10.30? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to weave through the traffic. Now we're going to use our Southeast Asia skills. Right. Our Bali skills, our Thailand skills. <laughs> Taz is a pro. This Look at that cool. mountain in front of us. That is what I was talking about yesterday. This is so beautiful with it the is. low cloud cover as well. It looks like Jurassic Park. Really nice. Very, very nice indeed. I mean, it is a little cloudy at the top there right now, but we are not complaining because we have some beautiful sunshine today. Shops on both sides, restaurants as well. And if I didn't mention, then we are in a Dali ancient city. So this is where we are right now, we're on the main road. I think it's called Ewer Road. So this is where we're riding. And honestly, we have no plans. We're just gonna kind of Let's take it as it comes. explore Dali, see what yeah. it has to offer. I think for sure, you guys, stay tuned because we will absolutely head towards a high lake, obviously. But for now, we're just gonna wander around and see where we are. A little ramp there, which is actually quite nice to go over the uh, pavement. 
place is cool. I like it so far. It's got a really nice chilled out vibe so far. It's just relaxed, fun, enjoyable, sun shining, so it's beautiful weather. I'm excited. Let's do this. Woo, we just parked our little bike here. We're gonna need to name it, you know, at some point. But for now, Mario. <laughs> be sure. Mario? Call it Mario. Okay, if we you say so. We're starting day off with a me shirt. What are we gonna get? Uh, I wanna go for that jasmine tea. That I'm just really like Yeah. Okay. Eager? Bing. Bing. Yeah. There we go. So we order one jasmine. Uh, bing cha, bing tea, so iced tea. There we go. We're gonna pop it through there. This place doesn't actually seem too busy. Usually okay. outside every Misha, it's super busy, but done? Yes. Perfect, okay. Now we just wait for Misha, it to be done. wherever you go, is like always heaving. There's always some trade going on. There's always some custom. This is definitely very popular, but anyway, we don't need to say that because we all know by now, this is our fourth trip to China and we, know we love Mishé. Wherever we go, start our day off with the Mishé. However, the one thing I did want to mention about the bikes is you don't need a helmet for this and you don't need a license for this as well. I'm not exactly sure what the, the reason is behind that, but I that think is... It's because it's electric, it's yeah. powered. Yeah, it's it's not to a certain yeah power. It has to be like above a certain CC, I think, yeah, and then you yeah. have to have a license and a Yeah, I think anything above stuff. 50, you need a license. I yeah. think this is below that, so you don't really need a helmet or you don't really need a license for this. I mean, you can wear a helmet safety first, of course, and we should have, and we haven't, but it's fine. Safety first, which is okay, but this place is always busy. It like, is, yeah. But during the day as well. The streets are busy right now, and I think that in the evenings it's only going to get busier, which is pretty cool to be honest. But I am going to cross the road very quickly. We have People's Road is on the right hand side, Foreigner Street is also on the right hand side, and then we have Wind, Flower, Snow, Moon Hotel straight up. So I think. Probably we'll go and check them out. I'm not sure if we'll do it right now or even in this vlog, but for sure, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna check Dali Ancient Town out, and also we're gonna do it at night as well because at night it's supposed to get pretty cool, pretty buzzing. There's a lot of atmosphere around. Okay, we can cross the road again. Here we go. Anyway, let's wait for Amisha and then let's go explore Dali. This wasn't even part of the plan. We were just driving around Dali Ancient Town, saw Amisha. We had to stop. This is our new favorite, the jasmine milk tea. Oh, so good. Love it. Okay, quick stop here. Misha, starting our day off. Now let's go to our next stop here in Dali. Super excited. We are headed that way, I think. Or maybe this way, we'll see. Okay, let's do, oh, these are like little ones. There's so many different variations in electric bikes. I love them. They are the uh, like public rental ones, I think, where you scan the code and you can rent them like that. I think that's what they are. Because if I'm not wrong, we saw those in Kunming as well. So. Oh yeah, yeah the single person one, right? Yeah, right. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let me dispose of this in a bin. There we are. Uh, that's the one. Okay. Be responsible. Do not litter. Okay, keep your place clean. <laughs> Took just, me a while to realise that I was on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> see, yeah, we did just realise that actually Taz was driving on the left hand side, which whoops. That's how we do it back in the UK, but then I realised we're in China, so we drive on the right side here. <laughs> yes, we do. It's so peaceful out here and this bike is so smooth. It is. It's really nice. This is actually a really nice way to be able to get around again after relying on public transport or walking or taking taxis. It's so nice to have the freedom of being on a bike again. It's the best feeling, guys. We're gonna try it. Go ahead and try it. We're riding down these streets. This is super peaceful as well. This is probably the first time we've been in China and been like the only people on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. This might be the quietest place, the quietest road uh -huh. in China that we've been on so far. So we are headed towards the lake. Wow! Look at this! I think as well we can expect to get lots of fresh fruits here in Yunnan too, so we have to give those a try. Sure. I did see where we were staying that there were people selling fruits in containers on uh, fruit 
carts and things as well. And there's, I've had quite a few uh, vegetables and fruits that are very uh, particular and specific to, you know. There you go then. Okay, we've got the navigation. In 200 meters, we are going to turn left, apparently. We okay. are 1.6 kilometers from where we want to be, okay. which is the lake, you guys. So we're trying to head that kind of way. Just, actually, we have no plans, but we're going to go and see what we can see, I guess. So, so we're turning left here? Yeah, I think so. That's another thing that I've heard, that you can see wild horses. I don't know about you now, but if you go further up towards Shangri-La, you can see wild horses oh, just grazing lands. around in the grasslands. Yeah. yeah, they're just grazing around doing that. They can, they're wild horses. And you can see them in Inner Mongolia as well. Wow. Beautiful. The clouds against the mountain backdrop. You know, this Absolutely is the one thing stunning. that I wanted to do in China, to be able to drive ourselves and just go exploring ourselves. Yeah. You know, so many of you guys also said, go self-driving. Well, we can't really drive with an international driving permit in China, but no. with these bikes, you don't need a license. So this gives you that freedom element that you can go around and do your own thing and we love it. Okay, so this is taking us to Erhai Lake. Yes. So Erhai Lake is so huge. Like we'll uh, throw some facts at you guys when we get there. This is a nice little, uh, area of Dali as well. It is. It's Much some, quieter. Yeah, some restaurants, some shops. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is so cool. The buildings are really cool as well. It feels nice because I think that actually Dali has some of the best preserved ancient towns in the whole of China, which really? is quite cool. I, that's what I heard. So I'm looking forward to checking a few more out. And I think as well, you'll see some in some of the shops along the the sides here and in the the main ancient town you'll see um tie-dye because one of the villages here one of the ancient villages is famous for its tie-dye and they still ah, and they still do it like that so there you go there's another popular thing is bringing um umbrellas out so to hide you and protect you from the sun this is a different kind of vlog for you guys today normally it's a walking tour today it's partially on the bike Okay, guys, we made it. Now we just parked our bike back there. I think, I hope it's uh, free parking. We don't really know, but... I mean, if it's not, there will be somebody that will eventually turn up to get the money, but hey, True, we yeah. left it there. If it's paid, then we'll pay. Right now we've got to find where the lake is. I mean, it's not even a small lake. How come we can't find it? <laughs> Supermarkets and convenience shops down here, some balloons, and now I think, we managed to loosely translate with a, a security guard back here. She was telling us that we cannot um, go that way with the bike. We had to park it there, I think. So I mean, if we now, this road, we could have, but we were coming down one of the main yeah. high streets, which is why we couldn't go any further. We've got loads of little waterways all the way round. It's so pretty. Everywhere you go, you can see them. But now, well, this side all looks closed. Can we go? Oh no, maybe a ticket. I don't know. Maybe oh. this is a boat trip. Okay, I see signs here to go maybe here. I'm not sure. Nihao. What is this place? Jesha Lake. Um okay, wolf found at the top. Okay. Do how, how do can we... I have to buy a ticket? You can buy a ticket for the next island doll hairpin hour by cruise ship. Oh, okay. This is like the boat. I think that you can take a boat to go to an island. But I think he said it takes an hour. Uh, okay, you can you can go from that. So this entrance is uh, for the boat. Ah, uh, okay. 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 So okay. This is where you go if you want to like go to the next island he said okay so, yeah you've got little cruises that go to nearby islands as well yeah it's like in the lake right there's yes. this little island yeah, yeah, which yeah. is absolutely crazy but if you didn't know then um Erhai lake is actually the second largest freshwater lake here in yunnan province and it's absolutely huge you were saying earlier if you start at one point and you go all mm. the way around it's like 120 130 kilometers Okay, we missed the turning. <laughs> Too simple. We just went straight. We went straight to the guy who's selling tickets for yes. a boat cruise. Yes, but we I think. Go check out the lake. There's a little is... sign here, maybe. Yeah. 
ecological corridor. Okay, okay that will do. We'll we go will, check uh, this one out. Explore the ecological corridor. Yeah, let's go see what it's like. Wow, we have a little lake here. So cute. I am already obsessed with Dali, you guys. Honestly, it's really, really pretty. But also, let me tell you one funny thing that I noticed earlier. We were sitting having some breakfast just outside of where we're staying. And you have these ginormous. They're blended in as trees. But I think they're like the 5G or like the mobile network. Are they 5G towers? Taz is nodding to me. Yes, they are. So they're basically like the 5G towers. But to make them like a little less ugly and to blend in a bit more, they have really pretty little branches on them <laughs> sorry can we appreciate i don't know if you can see on this uh, camera there's webs everywhere with the most ginormous spiders wow that's a bit creepy <laughs> have you seen the spiders no i've seen webs though oh they are face. everywhere look all up and around you now do you see them yes I don't even know if you can see them, can you? You can if you go close to them. Look at that bad boy there, it's like a whole group. It's an entire gang of spiders out here. Bro! Jesus. Oh my gosh, look at this one here. That is a chunky bad boy. He's never skipped gym in his Jeez. life, ever. It's across here. Oh my days, yeah. <laughs> look at Libby getting all scared. I was wondering, because I saw cobwebs in quite a few places in an ancient town in uh, Dali. And I was just thinking, like, I have not seen any spiders so far. So, well, oh my gosh, look at this one here. Jesus. Wow. This is so flipping freaky. I love it. It's like Halloween, but the real Halloween here because it's got real spiders. Guys, we just see up here actually, there's a few people sitting on these rocks with some nets. And there's a guy over there as a little boy who's doing the same thing. So I think there's probably some fish over oh, here. Oh. So we're going to walk to the edge, just balancing myself. Oh yeah, look, there are. There's actually some big ones as well. It's quite a few. Look at that. Lovely. So this is a long and a narrow lake. Yes. It's like 41 kilometers long. Yep. And from there all the way. In places it's 3 to 9 kilometers wide. That's crazy. We've seen the fish, you guys. We've seen the lake. We're going to go, I think, actually back to the bike. See if we can get on the bike and hop down and drive probably a little bit further. So come with us. Let's go check it out. We are currently trying to navigate our way. The really tight streets of Dali. We use our practice from Bali. <laughs> we are poets and we did not know it. We, we were trying to get to our next stop and we're just following the map, which I don't think is quite accurate. But no, it's not working. It's literally taking us around the houses. I'm loving this experience. So it's so local. Right? Look, I love it. Of short. You know, this is the kind of thing that you would never be able to do if you were doing this on a cab, like in a DD, or yes. if you were taking a metro. This is like the typical Chinese signs that I imagined we would see, you know, like all lit up and bright and big. These are cool. Uh -huh. I see the lake right in front of us. And Yay. listen, there's a car like up ahead as well. So if a <laughs> car can fit through these alleyways, for us, it's literally a walk in the park. So true. The only thing about these bikes though, is that because they're so quiet, you have to often yeah, remind go. pedestrians that you are here. Oh my oh God, my that's so days. tight. He's not going to get through that. He's uh, going to scrape it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh dear. Mr. Bright Yellow Tuk Tuki thing here. You okay. got hit. Oh no, is he now coming back? Wow. I would not want to be a car driver. You thought we here. were being adventurous coming down here in a bike. <laughs> We're on a bike and this is literally nothing for us. This guy's on a flipping, like he's in a car. It's all action right now, you guys. I wasn't expecting this on my bingo card for today, but... It's all action. That's what it is. Oh, here they go. We're clearly having uh, difficulties here. Okay, so... Uh, challenges navigating through uh, tight alleyways here in Dali. Okay, I think if he's reversing, I need to uh, go in here. Okay. I'm just going to leave the, the bike here for a second. I mean, once they back out of here, then we can go through here. This way, this way. 
Come around this way. Yes. I mean, I would love to give this driver a hand, but I don't want to do it because I ain't got no uh, driver's license down here. In China, at least, mine's not going to work here. We still are trying to get the car out. These guys in a bit of a pickle now because look how tight that is. He's proper stuck now. The entire community is here to uh, help this guy. Reverse. Look at that. Tight. That's it. I tried uh, helping him as well, but clearly communication barrier. Look at that. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Keep it going. Good job. A few moments later. Oh, we can't go any further than this. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I think we can, probably, on this side. Can you go to the left, maybe? <gasps> oh, is that... No. Okay. Damn it. Okay. You guys, we're really trying to get down to this road. I don't know how we get there. Should I get off and look? Yeah, have a look. Okay, hold yeah. on. I think we can. Maybe. Have a look. Oh. Okay, let's go see further up if there is one. But look, we made it to the leg. It's so beautiful. Ah, uh, let's see if there's a little exit over here. I don't see one. These look beautiful. Stunning. Maybe we might have to uh, see if we can replicate the buy dresses later. But this lake is stunning. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. There is like little pathways. How do I, we get out? I think I'm just going to go round and round. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, meanwhile Taz is having a nice little ride. I'm walking. Shocking. This definitely reminds us of Bali though. It's all the little oh. tiny, teeny tiny narrow walkways. Let's continue, I guess. See if we can go. Okay, back it is. Guys, we're going to come back at you when we've made it onto hopefully some kind of main road. Because honestly, right now, we have no idea. Taz is going to back it up. We are well and truly lost in the streets of Dolly. We have zero idea where we are going at all. We're just going. <laughs> We're just taking the local neighborhood views in. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This one's uh, this oh, one's babbled off as well. Again. Na, 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 na. I think it's gonna be the same everywhere. So there's this road here, guys. Yes. This but one is running parallel to the lake, but I don't think you can really go here because I there's know. no bike that I've seen unless. You go for a pedal bike. Yeah, like a push yeah a push bike. bike. Yeah, like a mountain bike or a uh, flipping yeah, Mary Poppins ones. bike. Yeah, yeah. Look, it says no motor vehicles are allowed this way. Ah. Damn it! We are pretty lost right now. We're just cruising. We're making the most of the eighty kilometers that we have on this bike. <laughs> I think we're going to be spending all eighty kilometers lost in the alleyways of Dali. Oh, this is beautiful. The housing, huh? Yeah, these are some of the best vlogs though, when you can just wander, chill, share, share, and just find your way. Beep, beep. Oh, look at all the mules as well on the side. Stunning. And the architecture on these houses is absolutely beautiful. Oh. But it's giving me Southeast Asia vibes with all the electricity wires all bundled up. <laughs> I'm just thinking if we leave the bike here and hop on that, I don't know how to come back here again. <laughs> yeah, right. Then we'd be drunk and lost. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, these are the bits everywhere that stop yeah, you from going out. Little... You must be able to, guys. It's 40 kilometers in length, right? Yeah. Must be able to. Should I we see just these park are... here somewhere and just go there. You want to walk down to it? Oh, we I can. Mean, the lake's not going to come to us. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? Uh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do that. Let's go. A few moments later. Look at him go. <laughs> Oh my oh, goodness. Look at your disposal now, baby. Come on. Okay, let's go. Get in, baby. Let's ride. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, I was just taking refuge in the little uh, golf cart here because it's so hot. Let me tell you that. Hi. 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 <laughs> so sweet. Okay, yeah, I can put them here. I just didn't want to sit on while uh, you're right to hold it. Hello. <laughs> so, do you know the thing here is once you make it on this side of the road here, you cannot have bikes from the outside if you've rented it from somewhere else so all along this side here you can see there's so many bikes here so you can just scan the code and get whatever you want to get and you can just drive around ride around the lake and that's literally what has taken us i don't know maybe about half an hour to figure <laughs> out 
we were trying our level best to get our bike out here but hey ho we couldn't do it and it's super hot right now guys we were feeling a bit deflated a bit defeated but we're ready this is so much more comfy as well than the other one actually the other ones are like uh they're really like easy to use and they are really convenient but like my feet were so far up that i could not barely do anything okay perfect here we go I want to get on one of these ones. Yay! The wow. party bus. Woohoo! This looks fun. <laughs> it's got beer and everything. Yeah, right? I love that. Okay, here we are. We are now on a roll. We are going. Woo! Right, we're alongside the lake now, finally. We are, yeah. The lake looks just on our right hand side. The bikes are almost riding faster than us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost they're taking over us but we just managed to go past this is so pretty look coming up the lake is up ahead Woohoo! i mean this is one bit that we did not want to do whilst we were walking no honestly it is quite hot it's actually not that hot but um the sun's quite intense obviously as you go further and further up in terms of altitude as well it will be but look people have taken their bikes over here looks like people are having little picnics photo shoots Okay, so here on the side you've got uh, a deck in as well, so yeah. you can walk along there. Maybe a little, yeah, like a little boardwalk or something. Yeah. Huh? And we saw just at the back a sign for snakes in the grass. So I think we got to be careful. <laughs> we don't want no snakes. Oh, this is Ooh. so slow. This place is so nice, so green and lakey and chill lovely we might have finally made it finally <laughs> da, 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 da. the lake is here we've been riding along for so long with yeah. no sighting of the lake we've yeah. finally seen it now oh this is cool our bike's so squeaky as well you can hear us coming from an absolute mile away for sure guys look at the lake over here this is absolutely beautiful it's as far as you can see like 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 and it's surrounded by some beautiful hills some lovely mountains some cute fish in here as well actually look at that how lovely i think this whole area as well is like obviously a lot of wildlife around here too i can see loads of birds and stuff like in the the reeds so super pretty and of course lots of other people are down here enjoying themselves also a little photo spot over here very cute taz just figuring out how to sort the bike out because we have no idea but really? for now yeah, we have kids out. oh beautiful no thank you <laughs> that's sweet she asked me if i wanted to take some photos you can beautiful. temporarily lock the bike so i've done it through oh, the app perfect. happy day so so we can take Is it again a... yes of course we can oh cool lovely that's nice then it's called perfect. a harley two-wheel scooter Oh, they do actually call it a Harley. Yeah, I love it. That's it, sweet. So we've ridden 2.8 kilometers and we still have 90% charge. Should we go to Lijiang on this? Not quite sure we'd make it that we'll, far. We'll get there next year maybe if we keep going at this speed, but have a look at High Lake in all its glory and beauty. Air High Lake is called Air High Lake because it's in the shape of an ear. Hence why it's called Air High Lake. From afar, if you see it from afar. Yeah, from a, a bird's eye view. That's how it looks. It is 41 kilometers in length, three to nine kilometers in certain places as far as the width is concerned. Uh, also very, very important for uh, the people down here because there are quite a few local communities down here that go fishing uh, as a profession and their ways of earning a livelihood. And also it is the second largest Freshwater Lake, as Libby was telling you guys earlier, in Yunnan. So that is absolutely incredible. The views are stunning and this place is just huge. It has been going on forever and ever and ever. Someone is paragliding. I want to do that oh, too. Wow, yeah. This is our Harley here. What are we calling this one? We'll call this a uh, Butch. Yes. I mean, look at that. That is snazzy. I love it. It looks heavy. It looks like it means business, but when it starts uh, going along, it's like I li literally have to make an effort to go past people on a push bike. <laughs> but hey, here we are. Uh, high Lake people. Yeah, now we've done it. Ticked off the bucket list. Lovely. Very lovely. Let's see what else we get up to. Let's do this.
We're taking refuge from the sun. However, these girls here, they mean business. They're getting the photos taken. Like the Insta game here, they take it seriously. And these local ladies, they're helping them take photos as well. They've got like a little mirror. So it looks like a little reflected shot, like they do in Bali. Okay guys, we just figured there's a little button right down here. And we put it on and it's making like the loudest revving noise and everybody's watching us. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get it back on again. This is hilarious. There we go. Stop it. Did it stop itself or did you stop it? They're like, you're having too much fun, guys. Stop. They're like, you guys are a friggin' embarrassment. Hurry up and leave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this. Do you know what's best? It's that the little squeak that's coming along as we ride it. <laughs> I think that's the best bit. Oh my god. Yay, we're riding past the lake. Woohoo! Oh, they're doing some construction or something here as well. Some these will be beautiful lake view. Maybe cafe. Yeah, I was gonna say apartments, restaurants. Maybe hotels. Yeah, could be. Not sure. But stunning and what a beautiful day for it so nice yeah. hello hey <laughs> guys that is so sweet there's also i love how many people that are just out and about and enjoying themselves along here as well oh my gosh <laughs> oh this never gets old oh dear oh, look. right next to the lake here oh this is pretty we didn't get very far, you guys. We decided that we'll hop back on the bike and then we saw another beautiful little spot to stop at. Oh, this is pretty. This looks nice. Someone down there looks like they're fishing. And we can walk right up. Okay, this is exactly what I thought we'd be able to do. To come right up to the water's edge. I wonder if this ever floods. If there's ever too much rain or something. Don't know, maybe in rainy season. Maybe. Who knows? It's already so full. It is, right? And it's not even rainy season at the moment, at least not from the looks of it. Beautiful weather. Hopefully I'm not gonna jinx it because we still have too many days here in Yunnan. We're here for an extensive Yay. tour of this beautiful province, but <laughs> This is a gorgeous day, beautiful, beautiful location. In case if you're wondering where Libby is, she's having a go on the Harley now. <laughs> Turn around, come back. Oh, she's loving it too much. <laughs> Libby, if you guys didn't know, absolutely enjoys bike rides. She likes to ride the bike as well. So, oh, she's a proper biker girl. Look at her. Come on then. All right, no show button, no show button. Both hands on the handle. Go on. Look at you go. <laughs> How does it feel? Good. Loving it. <laughs> Eyes on the road. Oh, this girl absolutely loves bike rides. Do you know what? I don't blame her with views like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous views. Got it? Yes. Oh my god, it just went so heavy at the back. Okay. Alright. My life is in your hands now. Okay, ready? I mean, this doesn't go too fast anyway, so. There we are. Good job, good job. Oh, beep, beep. Look at you go. Keep going. Slow and steady. You got this. Wow. What a biker girl, eh? What a pro, eh? What a pro. You ride real Harleys back in the UK? Oh yeah, maybe not. You're one of the biker girls. <laughs> My granddad used to have a Harley. I've only ever sat on the back. Well, you still got it. True. I've never ridden one. Granddad John, you got to leave your, your bike for Libby now. 
because uh, just give it to her. You don't ride it anyway, so it's probably be nice. So you know, look at her. Looks like Santorini. Santorini <laughs> in Dolly. This literally does look like Santorini. Right? White building, blue frames, window frames, blue doors. There's a pink car up there as well. Don't know if that is part of uh, the Santorini <laughs> inspiration. The vibes. But look at you. Woohoo! Are you enjoying it? Yeah, this is so much fun. I love it. Okay, we just pulled up to this little cute coffee spot because we parked our bike here. We've got a beautiful view all the way here it's so stunning i honestly can't go over it i think you'll hear us saying this vlog beautiful oh wow countless times <laughs> and that behind us is the perfect place to sit down take the views and, and get a drink going as well yeah there's a spot here and it's got all like coffee. the fire folding doors open and beer. coffee and beer is what we saw there. should we get That's a beer in. let's go i'm gonna get a beer yeah, maybe we should actually. It's a hot day. It is. This place looks so cute as well. So we were seeing a few places all along here that had different places you could stop, get something to eat. Honestly, we're not too hungry right now, but we thought, Joe, you know what we'll go and grab uh, something to drink instead. Hi. Ni hao. Uh, can we get beers, please? Ooh. What's the the good one here? What do you suggest? <laughs> Which one? Mm. Are they flavours? Okay, this is 5.2, 2.5, ah. 5.8, yeah. 3.7. Yeah, yeah. Are these different mm. flavours? Mm. Different taste? Yeah, yeah, different. yeah, different taste, okay. Uh, I think you may like the, um, this. Yeah. yeah. What, what is uh, this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. No problem, no problem. We can translate. <laughs> we can do the translation for you. Yes. This oh, place is so cute. I love it. We've got little cats on the wall with the beer here. Some coffee, maybe French fries. It's actually a really cute little spot. And then it overlooks perfectly the lake. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No? Grape. I was thinking that are they fruit flavours? This, uh, this is grape, this is apple, this is honey. This is uh, green tea. Green tea. Oh, green wow. Tea. Green tea beer. Uh, beer. Oh. Uh, it's so special. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Oh, it smells so nice. How's that? Green tea There's beer. There's not many times I've said that about beer because I hate the way beer smells. <laughs> this is so nice. I've never tried green tea beer. Especially from a shot glass as well. Right? Should I try so nice. some? Let's see. Oh, it like does it. smell good, huh? Pale this one, this, this one, nice. one, this one, this one. This is this is strawberry. No, I no. don't think so. Apple. No, no, no. Watermelon. I'm just going for everything that's red. <laughs> Raspberry. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm uh, trying to deduce what it could be with a red color. It could be apple, strawberry, raspberry. Watermelon. Grapefruit, jasmine. Grapefruit, jasmine. Grapefruit, jasmine. Oh, I want yeah. this one. Yeah? yeah? Okay. We have one. Uh, yeah. And we have. What is this? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. Make one. Huh? I'm just. Follow. I'm just curious to find out what the, the flavors are. Mm, okay. Really nice. This lovely girl here, she's so patient with us. She's like, oh, you guys, you're really going to make me like tell you all of these flavors. Warlord World Tower. Oh my gosh, that sounds like that there's going to be a war going on. I've no okay, idea what so I will have this one, mm. one, one and, and, and one. Yeah, one. The grapefruit one. Yeah. Okay, okay, so one, one. Let's okay. do this. No Grab a seat. Let's do it. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave this one here. Shush it. Thank you for that. Thank Let's sit it. here with the view. Yeah, do you want to sit this side? With the view of the beautiful Erhai Lake. Wow, okay. Let's get a drink and then enjoy the view. And then just cool down a little bit as well. Should we sit here at the front? Can do. Actually, yes, this is where I want to sit. Low tables, reminds us a bit of Vietnam as well. I'll sit here. Oh, yeah. Not recommended for people with bad knees because once you sit down, you won't be getting back up again. <laughs> a few moments later. Here we are. This one is green tea? Yeah. Green tea, thank you. Wow. 
Look at that. That's a big glass. Oh my gosh. Feels like we're in Germany. We are saying cheers to you guys. Cheers to China. How do we say uh, cheers in uh, no. Chinese? Let's, let's ask them. How do you say uh, cheers in Chinese? How do you say cheers in Chinese? Yeah, like this. Like, like this. Like cheers. this. Cheers. In Chinese. Ganbei. Ganbei. Ah, okay, okay, Ganbei. Yay. Ganbei. Ganbei. Yay. Honestly, we're like the typical loud tourists here. Shocking, but it feels good. Oh. I'm gonna try mine. Oh. Oh, it smells fruity. I like this. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. Try mine. Oh, oh. I don't think I've ever been so excited for beer ever in my life. Especially not green tea beer mm. and grapefruit beer. They are interesting This is flavors. probably the first ever beer that smells nice. Right? It smells fruity. Mm. Really good, surprisingly. Oh. Can, we, can we switch? No, I like that one. This is like drinking juice. It's, so it's good. really nice, especially on a super hot day. It's nice and refreshing in your little tiny chair with your knees by your ears. You're looking beautiful. <laughs> How do you say uh, cheers in German? Oh. Really? Prost. Prost. No, we know. That's how we hear Yay. Prost. Prost. Cheers. This is cheers in and German. And Gambe. Yay, Gambe. <laughs> this is good. It. Look at that. Perfection. Like you can't this. get a nicer wow. summer's day in Dali. Is that a good view? That. With the beer? and the lake in the back. It's perfect. What a day it has been. Oh, hi Lake, you are phenomenal. We had a lot of fun. Actually, I have to say this morning was a little bit tough actually. We were feeling kind of defeated, a little bit deflated, but do you know what? Once we figured it out, we picked it up. <laughs> It was good. What the tunes now? Just remember this. You can't make it past this point. That's the reason we were feeling a bit defeated yes. in the morning. Because we couldn't make it down yeah. to this road here. Exactly. We didn't understand that you couldn't ride your bike here. Once we figured it out, it was all good. Anywhere over this side. Yes. And you've got other bikes that you can get on this on side. On this side. Yeah. And you can go like anywhere along here. Honestly, guys, I think we are probably gonna finish it up here we've had so much fun I'm feeling so sunburnt already we're gonna have to go back and get some sun cream ready for tomorrow for sure because it's crazy hot out here but if you've made it this far then thank you very very much you guys also don't forget to send us your recommendations we have another few days left in Dali so make sure let us know what should we do what should we get up to what is good to go and see we've had the best time hope you have as well if you're new here don't forget to like subscribe share with all your friends and your family and we'll see you at some point somewhere in the next one see you in the next one very soon let's go